Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hush Tush, and today we are playing some Crayon Physics Deluxe. So, this morning I got my graphics tablet out. I thought, hey, you're going to draw something today. And then I remembered why I bought this in the first place. So, back then I bought this for this game, Crayon Physics Deluxe. I didn't buy it to draw, but uh, I told myself, hey, you can also draw on it in case you want to. But mainly I bought it for this game because back then that was pretty much my favorite game. So this is a game from 2009, so it's pretty old, relatively six years. And it's based on a prototype which was released around one and a half to two years earlier. And it's by a guy who has a name. He's from Finland, I think, and back then he used to still study computer sciences. Nowadays, I think he's with Rosenbite, the guys who made like Trine and Trine 2 and stuff. But back then, when he was studying, he challenged himself to make a game every week, and he did for a decently amount of long time. <laughs> and it were mostly like really short games where he like tried out wonky game mechanics and fun stuff. And he made a prototype called Crane Physics one week, which was 10 levels long or something. It was really short, but that was what this game was based on. And it took off pretty hard. Um, however, it was back then when indie wasn't like mainstream like it is today. Like this didn't have the exposure that Shovel Knight has today, for example. But anyways, people liked it, so he made a full game out of it, which was called Crane Physics Deluxe, which improved on the physics and we will just drop into it, like, pretty soon here. Yeah? And even if you don't know this game, you might know the game mechanics, because after this came out, there were like 400,000 Flash clones who did the same thing with worse graphics, pretty much. <laughs> but it was a pretty fun game back then. It, it's actually one of my favorite games of all time, although it's reasonably simple. But yeah, you can be creative. And it's not about finding just any solution, it's about finding the most awesomest one. Probably it didn't write most, right? It's about finding the awesomest one. So we are this ball who for some reason dropped from this apple tree. But obviously it's not an apple. And here in the first level we will just go with what the game tells us to. We will draw a box. Like so. It falls on the ball and nudges it to the right and it collects a star and we win. Haha. -ha. And then we can go to the next level. We can also just draw on the map. Because this game is all about creativity. So it's not about finding the first solution or something. I cannot draw a cigarette, because my graphics tablet doesn't allow me to. Oh, that looks like sick runes. Probably shouldn't have done that. So, yeah, anyways, let me explain the game mechanics a little bit further, because we could just roll with the game here, and just do what the game is supposed to tell us, but, like, draw a box here and collect the star that way. But that's kind of boring, and the first levels are a couple of tutorial levels. How do I delete this? Oh, right click, okay. <laughs> I haven't played this in a really long time, and now I ended up collecting the star anyway. So, so far we know we can draw boxes. And they somewhat react like they are boxes. If you draw like a ball, it somewhat reacts like a ball. Like it has the physics you expect it to. Although that didn't collide, weirdly. Let's draw like a ball. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at drawing circles, but it reacts like a circle. If you draw just a line, it reacts like uh, a plank, for example. However, you can also obviously do something like this. And you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, so we know we can draw shapes and they react to physics like they are the shapes we do. However, if we draw like a small circle on shape, it becomes an axle and now we can uh, draw stuff on that axle and it can turn. 
Haha. -ha. What else can we do? Oh, and, and I'm so used to deleting stuff with a double click. But uh, I didn't set that up correctly, so I have to right click now. So what else we can do is when we connect two axles with a line that can have any shape, it becomes a rope. I think that's most of the stuff we can do. We can also click the ball and it rolls. We can also click it into the other direction. So easy solution here is draw like a plank, collect the star. But let's not do that because uh, that's the easy solution. And this game is not about easy solutions, it's about being creative. So let's draw something like this. <laughs> that turned out really bad. And put the ball into that. Haha! -ha. Then let's draw two axles here. Do we even need two axles? We we don't really. It's uh trying to delete stuff with a double click doesn't work. Okay, let's just try something round here. So now we got a wheel. Then let's draw two axles here little platform, put a box onto that and let's draw an axle on this and an axle on this, connect this with the rope over the wheel and delete this box. And it didn't work because not enough weight. How are we going to solve this? We could just put more stuff onto here and hopefully eventually it's Heavy enough. And we didn't collect the star, so we just go ahead <laughs> and derp around and do it like this. No! Roll ball, roll! The wheel destroyed my try. Okay, but just to illustrate that you can do crazy stuff, although that wasn't too crazy, right? But we will try to come up with like inventive solutions. Rube Goldberg machines or something. At some point, but first we will just draw a line here because the game tells us to. Also tells you you can click the ball. So the first couple of stages are tutorial stages. Probably, I think, like the first two islands. And in this run through, we will try to collect every star. So here you could just draw a line like this. Um, I mean we could also just draw a ramp like this. And the ball rolls down. And collects a star. And I love the music. <laughs> Which is awkward because sometimes I uh, like hum it really loud when playing without thinking about it. Hopefully I won't do that this time. Because it's going to be annoying because I can't sing. Can we get the star? Yes. So the physics in this game are not like perfect, but they are pretty good, I guess. So here you got the, your first axle in the game. You obviously want to draw a box into here. Usually I guess we will just draw a box into there, because what I'm trying to do here probably doesn't work. Maybe if we did it down here. It might not work what I'm trying to do, but we will see. Um, platform... Because the screen is too small. Do we fall off? No. Okay. Draw a wheel here, an axle here. I forgot something. So let's draw an axle here, delete this line. Because we want it to be a row. No, I don't think it's heavy enough.
And it's going to be hard drawing more stuff around here. Can we make it heavy enough? Yeah, kind of. Whee! So obviously just drawing a box there is going to be way faster. But <laughs> I like to have fun in this game and this is about fun, not about solving the game fast. Although I might do a speedrun of this game at some point. Um, something I didn't tell you about really is the ball can also be on like a rope. Works flawlessly. So we could do this. We can also just draw a line there. Remember me, this is one of the levels from the prototype. And in the prototype you couldn't draw like excels and stuff and it was relatively hard this level because if you did this didn't really work because of this happens so you had to draw something like this and put a big box there and then <laughs> shove the ball before that it was uh, pretty weird and um, we can just draw like a rope for example Whee. Ah, I, I thought that would work. Maybe you try again. I thought it would like bounce the ball up. It does somewhat. Oh, it nearly worked. We'll try that again in a later level. That's way too big. Yes! So maybe try it on a straight line. Oh, this is like... <laughs> I, I used to love this level because you can sew wonky stuff here. So we have a bridge here and what you're supposed to do is draw something here so the bridge falls down. And what I used to do is build a catapult under the ball, shove the ball into here so the bridge falls down and then have something on the bridge so the ball runs into the star. And it takes a long time to set up and if it doesn't work you have to reset the level pretty much. So we are not going to try that. But uh, we will try something simple like this and then draw the bridge. Like so. Delete this. Flonk. Music so awesome. And here again. Uh, this time we will draw a box here. Although I think you need to set up something else too in this level. <laughs> that box is too big. Um, I think you want to have a rope here for safety. That box might also be too big. Nope. What? <laughs> okay. Um... We have this here, so it stops. Yay! And go to island number two. And draw a tree. You can change the color of your pen with the mouse wheel, but I'm using like a pen on a graphics tablet. I don't have a mouse wheel here. So you can draw real trees that are not purple. Oh, draw a hammer. I forgot about this trick. So you can draw a hammer here. I call it shoe because it's a shoe and not a hammer. Or it looks more like an X, not a hammer. But you can do stuff with that. So again, these levels are still like tutorial levels. Here, the obvious thing to do is draw a hammer. Because the game just told us that we can do this. Super simple. But again, this game is not really about the challenge the puzzles oppose, oppose to you. <laughs> the puzzles give you. It's not really about the challenge, it's about doing stuff creatively. 
Um, here it first tells you about ropes, although these are not ropes, these are like sections that like intersect, like little boxes. But still it sort of works like a rope. That might not be heavy enough, it is heavy enough. But uh, you don't learn how to draw ropes until later on. But then again, it's not like the game stops you from drawing ropes earlier if you know how. Um, on this one, you're going to do something. Okay, let's draw a platform here. Put an axle here, an axle here. I'm not sure if what I'm trying to do works. Probably it won't work. Let's delete this. And do something like this. Okay, we need to have this higher, this platform. So let's do something like this. <laughs> Draw a thing here. Excel, Excel, rope, and rope. Delete all this stuff. Put the ball onto there. Catapult! Ah, I thought this would work, like, decently. I'm pretty sure it does, if you just do it right. And look at that, it nearly flinked our ball upwards. I probably shouldn't have this platform in the middle, right? Let's try it without the platform. And yeah, we will leave these there, because why not? Um, okay, it does work, but you just need to set it up decently. I think if we do one here now, it could work. No. Mm, that doesn't work. <laughs> Let's put one here. I probably shouldn't build a box. Should be something around. Yeah! Finally. The music is like so soothing. It's awesome. And um, here, let's build a ramp. That ramp might be too steep, and a hammer. That hammer might be too big. No, it just works. Sort of. Wonder if we can get this without changing the ramp. Let's try. Yes. Barely, but we got it. Leap of faith. Hmm. Wonder if this works. Probably it doesn't. It might work. No, it doesn't really have enough power. Can we give it more power? We make this heavier at the top. It probably won't have more power, right? Because the weight will be against it, like here. Uh, it was a halfway decent idea, though. So obviously you can just draw a bridge here. But boring stuff, let's try to fling the ball into that. Somehow. I mean, uh, what we could do is have a hammer here, which again is a pretty boring solution. Um, let's see, 
if I want my hammer to fling the ball upwards. I would need to slope this like so, right? It's probably not enough of slope, but also it's too long. So let's do this. Yay! <laughs> So, I haven't played this game in a while, I'm still like learning stuff I used to do back then, because it, it has been so long. And later on we will try to use more and more of that stuff to make like Rube Goldberg machines to solve levels. Also later on the levels get quite a bit harder, although they are never like at the point where you think, wow this is impossible. Island number three. Ah, oh, cake! I want cake. Okay, here you learn uh, that you can draw these. Oh, here it does draw a box like that and that does work. I guess because you fling the ball like straight up. Yeah. Okay. Draw a circle, draw a hammer. Okay, it doesn't tell me to draw a hammer. I don't know what to do. I want to try something here. Um, this probably doesn't work. Let's try to extend it like this. And this might mess with the physics of the game. Although it doesn't. Okay. Wonder if we have like a rope there. And a rope here. Oh, it already messes with the ball and then delete that if that... Yeah, it sort of works. Not really though. I mean, it would be cool if you could, uh, like, add tension to ropes, but you can't. Well, probably you can somehow, but I don't know how I would do that. So let's just draw a hammer. That gave quite a kick. And now I stopped calling hammers uh, shoes, although I said I would. Um wonder if we can solve this by drawing only one object, like so. Huh. I thought it would turn like this thing. I guess it doesn't. Does it if I do this? Not really. But if I do this... Yeah. Roll ball. Uh oh. Okay, now go. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster. <laughs> Ooh, barely. Okay, I will try to keep episodes of this between 20 and 25 minutes. So we will do one more level and then end this episode. And it's a pretty cool level, although it's super simple. I wonder if we can do this differently. Obviously, you're supposed to draw something here and add the way to this. But I'm too uncreative to think of another solution for this fast. Anyways, that's going to be it. That's Korean Physics Deluxe for you. Have a good day and until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.